welcome back to my channel I hope that you're doing well now today we've got a little bit of a different haul to the hauls that I usually do usually it's stores and I'm buying new today it's all second hand everything's from Vinted and then I've got one item from eBay I'm gonna show you the items that I've got tell you how much they would have been at retail tell you how much I got them for so I can tell you how much I've saved and then at the end I'm gonna do a big total of how much I've actually saved by buying secondhand it's something that I do regularly I'm always on Depop, Vinted, eBay it's not something new to me but it is a new video for my channel so yeah I think you'll be pretty impressed with the savings that I've made because I am like I didn't expect it to be quite as high like the overall total as it is I thought it'd be a lot lower but it's actually really high and I'm really impressed and like the items are a lot of them are like brand new I've got a few that I like use but I'm just impressed overall there's a few items that I'm a bit meh it's not great but the actual item itself is great it just that it doesn't fit me and my body type but other than that literally all the items are really good but yeah don't forget to stick around until the end so you can see how much I've saved overall and I'm going to jump straight in with the first item so the first item is actually something that I really 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 wanted when it was in store and then it went to the sale and I was like oh my god I really do want it but it was Zara and it's so like that like in the sale straight away gone didn't even get the chance it's this blazer now it was retailed at 80 pounds i believe um it is still up on the website actually so yeah it was 80 pounds and then i think in the sale it went down to about 40 50 and then i managed to get it for 25 so for me that is an absolute savings like i cannot believe that i managed to get it for 25 quid like literally i saved 55 pounds on this item and I'm so so happy it is in used condition but it was only worn once um as it was advertised and I just I'm really happy like 55 pounds saved that is so good and to be honest feeling it it is really nice but I wouldn't say that it was worth 80 pounds so I'm really glad that I got it at such like a budget price because I think if I had bought it at like 80 pounds I might have ended up returning it because it'd have been like it's not actually worth that amount of money and when I did get this, I think it was still on the website, like, you know, when people, like, return ones. So they hadn't got rid of it off the Zara website yet. So I'm really, really happy that I got this one. Like, I really wanted it when it was in store. And it's such a great price. Like, I'm so, so happy. This is definitely one of my top buys. This next item was an absolute necessity after doing my previous H&M haul. You'll know how much I raved about the satin midi skirt from that haul. Now, another little addition. I couldn't help myself. When I decided to do this haul, I knew that this was going to be one of the items that I was going to search for. I just knew it because I was so, so happy with the last one. And I'm not disappointed. It's such a gorgeous sage colour. It's such good quality. It's brand new with tags. It's still got the tags on it. Like, what more could you ask for? It retailed at £35, this one. And I got it for £7.50, saving £27.50. Like you literally cannot complain and i'm so so happy i feel like i got like such a bargain because it really is there's no like pulls or anything in it it's an absolute perfect condition and such a rock bottom price i'm so so happy with it this is another one that i'm really pleased with i just must have been so lucky while i've been shopping over the last like a few weeks for these bits because i've just found everything that i wanted for this next item there was no intention of me buying this this is one that i just stumbled across it's this belted shirt dress from under the stories now i'll try and hold it up so you can see it better it buttoned all the way down the front such such nice quality no faults with this whatsoever the fabric is in perfect condition the dress is in perfect condition my only problem is it was advertised as a size 10 and it's actually a size 8 so i can't actually like button it up properly it doesn't fit like one bit which probably isn't the girl's fault because it doesn't say uk 10 on the label it just says like euro 36 and us 4 so maybe she thought it was a 10 and unless you know your conversions which i do she may have thought it was a 10 and it may just be a mistake but it is an 8 and it doesn't fit and it's such a shame because this is actually still on the end of the stories website this is still up for 75 pounds and i got this for 20 meaning i've saved 55 pounds and it literally is still on the website it's unreal I like this is such a good bargain i can't believe that i got it so cheap and like when i bought this i didn't actually realize it was still on the website it was only after looking because obviously i've looked at what the retail price is for these items it was only after that that it literally came up and i was like oh, that's my dress it's still on the website and it's pretty much got all the sizes left as well so it is a complete bargain this obviously i will be selling this on my own depop which i will link below so if you are a size a and you do want this dress i will be selling it because i just can't fit into it 
like there's no point me keeping something that I can't fit. I'm just gonna sell it and make my money back from what I've spent and get in this beautiful piece beautiful condition and so so cheap considering you can still buy this in online back to items that i was looking for i wanted a nude blazer now very luckily i found one here it is as you can tell brand new with tags in perfect condition double breasted which is exactly the style that i like it's when i'm getting a blazer i always want a double breast double breasted god i can't speak but it's just the kind of style that i like with blazers it's just that's what i look for when i'm shopping for a blazer and it also had these really nice um button detail on the sleeve which again i really liked about this there's no flaws with it it's an absolute perfect condition it was um 38 pounds as you can see from the tag it's literally still got a post tag on it i got it for six I saved 32 pounds on this item 32 pounds like usually my look when i'm shopping second hand on like depop or anywhere i'll be looking and i'll find something i like and it'll be like five pound off the retail price so it'll be like was 50 pounds now 45 and the, it's been worn this is brand new and i've literally saved 32 pounds such a bargain and i'm so glad i found it i think this is going to be literally perfect in my wardrobe it's something that i've really really wanted to pick up for like quite a while back to an item that i wasn't looking for but i'm so so glad i found it it's this gorgeous blouse from h&m it's so pretty i love the button detailing down the front it goes right down the front of the blouse it's absolutely stunning it's also got the button detail on the sleeves as well it's so pretty gorgeous white colour and yeah it has been worn but there's no stains no marks no pulls it's in perfect perfect condition i'm gonna estimate that it would have been about 15 pound in store obviously i don't know the retail price of it and it's h&m so there's loads of blouses it's hard to like pick out the actual amount that it was so i'm gonna estimate for the sake of the video that it was about 15 quid but i did get this for two pounds two pounds it'd be probably at least a five or in a charity shop or something and i got it for two quid another absolute bargain i don't know how I, I know i keep saying it but i don't know how i got so lucky with finding these bargains it never usually happens like this i just managed to find like bargain after bargain but yeah two pounds really pretty i'm really glad that i got this this next item i didn't intend on picking up it was something that i saw and i do kind of regret actually picking it up which is a shame because it is nice but yeah it just doesn't fit me it's this gorgeous dress from oh polly scoop neckline lovely lovely material i did get this um brand new with tags still got its tags on it it's um the bodycon style and it's got the branding a poly band at the bottom no faults with it it's an absolutely perfect condition no stains no marks no pulls absolutely gorgeous it's just it's quite sure and for me being tall it just it doesn't look good like it fits like size wise it's just i could do with a few extra inches to like go a bit further down my leg which is a shame because it is lovely um i had to estimate again with this one i'm gonna say it's about 25 pounds retail i'm not 100 percent sure oh poly is not somewhere that i shop that much um so this is really just a stab in the dark with this one i'm gonna say 25 i did get it for eight pound 50 which means i saved 16 pound 50 on this purchase um it's kind of really not worth it for me because i'm gonna to have to get rid of it i've kind of done better on the items that i want knew that in my head that i wanted and done worse on the items that i just sort of saw and spontaneously bought so maybe the trick for me buying second hand is just to stick to what i'm looking for but yeah i am gonna to have to retail this but it is absolutely lovely and in perfect condition so i can't fault the seller this is an item that i wasn't actually looking for that's actually gone well this time <laughs> is this tweed dress from zara now how how pretty um i'll try and just show you a bit more but it's lovely it's kind of a bit scared to styley i just thought for like autumn winter this would be absolutely perfect it does um zip at the back it's an amazing quality there's no stains there's no pulls in the fabric it's absolutely like top quality condition I'm going to estimate that it would be about £20 in store. I find it really hard to estimate, but I'm going to say £20 for the sake of the video. And I got it for £3.50. I saved £16.50. Like, mad. I don't know how I found these items. They're just uh, absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, perfect, perfect condition. This would be, like, ideal for, like, the office. And I feel like in autumn, winter, I'm just going to wear this to death because it's kind of, like... 
I'm going to be throwing like white turtlenecks, black turtlenecks, all kinds of tops underneath it and I just think it's going to look really cute with like tights and boots when it does get to that weather again. And for that price I couldn't like hang about, I was like I'm getting it even though it's summer right now. I mean you wouldn't think it was summer but even though it is meant to be summer right now I was like I can't wait around because that's going to go if you know if I don't buy it now it's going to go. So I picked it up and I'm really happy I did. Another item that I was actually looking for was an oversized yellow shirt. Now, this is going to make me go really washed out because for some reason it doesn't like yellow either. I don't know why my camera is so funny with certain colours, but it is. Now, as you can see, even though it's washing it out so, so much, got this camera. I'll try and hold it up so you can try and like see a little bit better, but it's like a really gorgeous like pastel yellow. Really great condition. Like It's got really nice buttons as well. I am a bit funny with buttons sometimes. I do prefer like white buttons, which is what this has got. I had no idea what brand I wanted, so I just looked for like generic size yellow shirts. I had, I, like I wasn't being picky about the brands. This Ralph Lauren one came up and it was in such good condition and I was like, you know what, let's just go for it. Don't know how much this would be. It's a men's. I did look and they looked to be like upwards of about £60, £70. So I'm going to say £50 for the video. <laughs> We're just going to say that it's 50 quid. Um, and I got it for £10. So I have saved 40 quid on it. So another bargain again. And it is like it has been worn, but it is really good quality. And I can see me wearing this like a hell of a lot. Like I will be wearing this all the time because it is something that I really wanted. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one as well. So that is all the secondhand items that I got for this haul. Obviously, a lot of them were great, and I'm really glad that I got them. And just a few were a bit, you know, they didn't fit. But you know, you can't always get everything like spot on, and you can just resell them. So it's not like you're losing money. And if you aren't like one that usually shops secondhand, I would recommend it. I know I don't promote it enough on like my Instagram or on here, but I do do it a lot, and I would encourage you to have a look if you haven't already started secondhand shopping it is good like you can find some really good bargains like i've shown in this video but i am going to reveal now the total amount that i saved so starting with how much i spent i spent in total on all of the items 82 pound 50 okay and i saved drum roll please 255 pound 50 like I estimated like £100 and I thought that was me being really generous but £255.50 that is so much that I've saved and some of these are brand new with tags like I've saved an absolute fortune like I can't believe it so like I say if you don't already secondhand shop please do have a look because you really can make some great savings and it's not necessarily stuff that's really old like I've paid some stuff that's still in store now like you still get that now at full price and I've managed to make a massive saving on it. So do have a look secondhand. There's Depop, Vinted, eBay, plenty of places that you can shop. Do have a look if you don't already secondhand shop. Because not only is it good for the planet, it's good for your wallet as well. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I cannot wait for you to be here for my next video. Thank you for watching.